Hopefully his status will still be there on his next turn. I don't quite remember. It's three turns, so it might it might be gone. And then this whole experiment was for nothing. But all right, let's see. Truculent, you're up. So let's dissolute him, her, it. Man, these are some interesting dances they're doing, right? <laughs> I mean, again, like, uh, just animating this, it must have been such a nightmare, though. But it looks freaking great. Let's see, let's see. Gesture. Who's a Pongorma again? Well, let's soul crisper him. I, yeah. Me too, man, me too. Again, the, the amount of work, I think this is a one or two man project or something. And the amount of work that went into this is just so astonishing. From, you know, the animations, the music and everything, the world, it's just crazy. It's like you're in a constant acid trip, yeah. I wonder what this game would be like if you're actually like, you know, taking acid or mushrooms or something and play the shit out of this. I don't think you'd, you'd be able to play this, but uh, it would be an experience. Let's see, what can we do? Dissolute again? I think this guy's kind of dangerous, so let's try and get rid of him first, maybe. But I don't really remember. Oh, we can't gesture anymore. Oh man, you'll be freaking out constantly, I know, right? It'd be such a horror trip, dude. Let's see, let's see. But maybe, I mean, if you smoke weed or something, it, it might be actually relaxing. Just judging by the music. Hmm. So yeah, so this effect ran off, so I can't really do... Fates, no, no, what was it? Where's, where's the thing that I wanted to use? Foam armor, nematode interface, that's the one. It would be really chill with that, <laughs> right? It's kind of tempting. Mm -hmm. Well, let's just do Soul Crisper, why not? Go with the standard stuff. And you might not, like, might not even play the game at all, just listen to the music, you know? That'd be good enough. I wonder if there's a soundtrack available, uh, available for this. I haven't checked on uh, Steam or anything. Might be. Might be an idea. Let's see. <laughs> Soul Crisper again. Sure, sure. This guy's weak against burning, so that's great. All right. Got it. So now that this fight is over, we got bones, meat, antenna, juice, oh, just everything. And a pool of wine. I don't remember what a pool wine does. Thanks, they hid themselves within a giant juice beast egg and were thus able to enter this place uncontested. These were agents of a dozier. They're known to rely on such subterfuge. They really are. Behold, they shed a key. Got worm room key. Ooh. This should unlock their clandestine facility to the north. Ever since it went up, they've been trying to displace the ranch. And that is our next destination. So now we got another party member. And that's the last party member that we got. Uh, what was her name? S S Samsworna? What's her name? Samsnosa. There we go. And there's something in this fridge here. A pleather gauge. I think we can just equip that on her right now. Samsnosa is actually pretty good. No, that's not. Garbs. There we go. So she comes with like 102 flesh, 120 will right out the gate. And she's wearing long gloves and a faded poncho. Let's see. Full party for the win. And now fights are going to get a lot easier since we've got another member that can do gestures and snapping and stuff. So will plus 25 is pretty good. I don't know if we need to change that. We got will plus 50, but it depletes flesh by 5% each turn but it also restores will each turn. So again, this is some sort of like a little bit more advanced tactics type of deal, but uh, I, I don't want to bother with that. I don't want to have to worry about losing flesh each turn. So let's see, long gloves. Do we have anything better? Pe yeah, hell yeah, pleather gauge. There we go. 
Alright. So now this fight is over, let's slap a couple bugs. Completely without explanation. Just slap a couple bugs. Why not? If you find a bug, give it a little slap. All right, and there's nothing else on this ranch that we need, right? We're full up. That's great. So now we got Thom Snosa. We got the key to the worm room. We can actually go up here. Ooh, ah, oh, this area is gonna be great. I already forgot what that was about, but um, wait, was it this place? Yeah, there's nothing else over here, right? No, nah. You could try to jump up there, but there's nothing there. Tr trust me, dude. Trust me. There's nothing there. So let's activate this. We have a little bit of meat. We could raise our max HP again, but eh, whatever. Let's just go until we die in another fight. Used worm room key. So now we can get into this shady looking place, this fortress. So this guy again kind of looks like an enemy. But you can just walk up to him and talk. Are you here to maintain the worm? It's just down the ladder. Why, yes, indeed. I am the maintenance guy. Don't worry about the party of four. It's just me, bro. And this other dude. I don't suppose you saw the patrol out there. They're a bit late. Which patrol are you talking about? So this is the worm that they're talking about. This thing in here. Uh, let's see. The creature clenches furiously. So this worm is generating um, a force field that we need to, or a shield that we need to deactivate. Worm 100% shield status active. So we need to get rid of that. So as you can see, there's all these cables hanging around and they're leading to this thing. So if we just bonk this button over here, it opens up. And now you might think, oh, just another room that we can enter. Oh, you ain't ready for this. Look at this place. Look at this place. What is even going on? The first time I played this, this was so absolutely ridiculously amazing. I mean, just look at this. What is even happening? So this is kind of like a maze that you have to navigate through and find the right, well, entrance, exit, whatever. Jesus, man, this is awesome. Is that? It's so great. Dude, I was tripping out so hard when I played this the first time. I mean, I'm still tripping out. I still don't know the layout of this place. And it's like teasing you with coins down here, for example, that you can't run to. So you kind of have to find your way around. There's lots of ways you can go and stuff. It's, uh, it's so good. So let's just walk around this place for a bit and see what we can find. But yeah, I, I mean, uh, I'm so in love with this game for doing this sort of stuff. 10 out of 10 exploring. 12 out of 10, dude. It's just, it doesn't get much better than this. So these red birds flying around, we got, kind of got to be a little mindful of them. It's not the worst thing if we run into them. It's just another fight. But uh, I just kind of want to, I just want to take this in. It's just so good. Uh, it's like, I don't, I, I don't even know how to describe the feeling of just seeing this for the first time, man. There's like some uh, experiences in games that will stay with you basically forever, right? Like the first time you played, I don't know, Mario 64. The first time you jumped, you know, these kinds of things. And like this, this place over here, this is just ridiculous. It's going to stay in my memory forever. So we can walk up and down these stairs to other places, but I think we should stay around this area for now. See what we can find. A couple of coins. So this is where we've been, right? Some areas where we've already been, you can kind of tell. So there's a fountain over here, right? Hey, hi Mao. Welcome, welcome. 
let's see. So we have to find a way to get to that fountain. Hum hum. Because that's, I think that's another teleport spot. If I remember that right. I think you can press a button there and get there somehow. But uh, as you can see, it's a maze. And it's amazing. Oh, God. Oh, man. I need to time myself out for puns like that. All right, all right. Let's collect these. I think... There you go. There you go. Ah, uh, is it here? Where in the planet are you folks? Well, I'm in Germany. Hmm, so you can just jump in here. I don't know if you can actually get back here, though. Ah! Oh, missed me. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 there we go. Warp activated. This fluid leads to the afterlife. Um, so warp activated is great. Because that's what we want. But we don't really need to go to the afterlife. So there's a staircase over here. I think this is where we need to go. Let me check that real quick. Um, yeah, I think so. I think this is where we're actually supposed to go, but I'm not quite going to go there yet. The country of Texas. Hey, you guys, you guys should really split off, man. <laughs> it's like, I'm, it's like I have any idea about like American politics or geography or anything, man. <laughs> Let's see. Man, this game's a trip, isn't it? It's so good. Dude, I love it. And again, man, just imagine how this would be if you were actually, like, on substances. Ridiculous. I'm telling you, ridiculous. So there's another staircase over here. Have we, have we been here? You joke that someone actually tried to propose a law like that last year. <laughs> Dude, the thing is, like, in Germany, right, we got Bavaria down in the south, and it's kind of a little bit of a similar situation, where, like, the rest of, or a large part of Germany is like, what gives, dude? Like, just split Bavaria off. Who cares? And they're, they kind of want that, too, you know? So it's like, I kind of feel, I kind of get what you, what you mean. It's like a different country, basically. So let's see. Oh, now I lost. God damn it, I lost the way. I think it was up here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over here, right? Hmm. Or not? Oh, some coins. I'll take it. Oh, God. Is it up here? Yeah, I think it's over here. Over here? Over there? Oh, there's a fountain, right. So this is where we need to go. Great, great. There we go. Yeah, that's the spot. So we got this place. Dude, just look at the animations and stuff. Somebody had to build all of this, you know? It's so great! Ah, oh, I love it. I love it so much. So this is the thing that we have to get to. So if we activate this horn... Ooh, look at this big boy. And this is the second sort of boss that we have to fight. This is the worm. So let's see if we can make, the, make it through this. What can we do? I kind of still want to try that, uh, where is it, the Fate Sandbox and Nematode Interface combo, so let's do that. Let's go with the Dusmoan. Insulate ourselves. Wayne is just going to dissolute, so that this guy doesn't do as much damage. 480. Crazy. Pongorma is just going to... wait, actually... Hmm. Should we charge up Pongorma, or should we... <laughs> no, let's not. Let's Soul Crisper this dude. And then see if... Um, 
So I'm Snowsa is going to play a little bit more of a supporting role. Jeez, this art is wild, right? And again, it's all or the the enemies and the animations and stuff is all done in claymation, basically. So just ridiculous, ridiculous amount of work put into this. And it's so beautiful in a strange way. So Som Snow says gonna, let's see. <laughs> if we, now Som Snow doesn't have foam armor, so that's not that great. Wave Artifice deals 80% normal damage to all enemies if charged two additional attacks. Oh yeah. So let's do that. Let's charge up. What deep sea horror fish is this? It's clearly a worm carve. Can't you see? Totally. First thing that comes to mind, a worm. So the Dusmol is up again. So now we can do Nematode Interf... <sighs> Every single time. I was blind, now I see. I hope you learn from your mistakes. So let's actually drink uh, juice. All right, and hopefully the Dusmo is still gonna be uh, immune on the next turn. I don't remember though. Oh, I should maybe get, there we go. <clears throat> hmm. So gesture wise, I think we're good. This guy's pretty much all dotted up. So we're just gonna snap. I should probably, hmm. Since we're your sea neighbor, who I don't think I've seen creatures quite as terrifying on the ocean floor, not yet at least. Who I stay with centipede. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Gesture. Do we have anything we can do still? Well, we could, we could still charge up, do more damage that way. Great. And let's, oh no, ah. No, the sleeping ended on the Dazmon though. Right, great, so now we can do this. I don't think it's actually that great, but hey. So inflict some leaking on him. Ooh, look at this. It's got Star Nose Mole vibes too. Mm, yeah, a little bit. That I can see. Of all things, that I can see. <laughs> so let's see. So most of us are sleeping, apart from the Dusmol. So let's see. I should probably hmm, charge up. Problem is, I should heal, realistically. <laughs> Do we have anything that heals a party? I don't remember, actually. So stem cells is like uh, a pretty good idea overall. But do I have any hmm, banana, burrito, cookie, cupcakes? <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. So I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm gonna risk taking the damage here and I'm gonna charge up the Dusmon and hopefully this will work out and I can... Might be in a pickle. Yeah, I, I might very well be. We're pretty close here. Ah, Wayne died. That's okay though. We can bring him back. I sure... I just hope that we can get to... Um to the Dusmon before he dies. So let's Soul Sponge Wayne. That's fine, that's fine. We're bringing him back. Don't worry, Mal. So Pongorma, what can you do right now? Will. So he's charged up. We could do some more Soul Crisper, I suppose. Charged up Soul Crisper. Should probably deal a good bit of damage over time. There we go, the dust bolt is up. So if we can do foam armor now, I hope it does what I actually think it does. It shouldn't matter who we pick, it should give the whole crew, yeah, there we go. So now we're all foam armored up. And look at the health over there, yeah. That's a lot better. I mean, he still does a lot of damage, this guy, but um, hopefully this should get us through the fight now. Foam. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man. So, uh, what can we do? Parlor, Bleb. No, wait, who's up actually? Dadasmo. Yeah, sure. Let's heal Pongorma over here. And then Wayne, you're gonna do dissolution again? Yeah, still got enough will for that. And hopefully now we can just snap this guy away. Yeah. Ooh, oh, that feels good. We're all foamed up. This guy is just exploding. Got 100 bones, 4 antenna, 8 meat, 3 bananas, and 2 muscle apliques. Nice, nice. Ah, I love the cutscenes. Right, so now the shield is down. This guy, oh, we can't, we can't talk to him anymore. We can talk to this guy though. Gotta head off. Hope the rest of your stream is fun. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, dude. Enjoy your day. Uh, is it supposed to be doing that? Hmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. See ya, see ya. Worm offline. Shield status deactivated. Contact technician. Yeah, that was me, dude. Don't worry. I'm fixing it. I just gotta go get some uh, supplies and stuff. All finished down there? Thanks. Uh, don't mention it, bro. We can actually, if we walk up to these guys and we slap them, we can actually fight against them. And it's just going to be another another fight. So if you need more, you know, max HP and whatnot, that's a way to get it. Speaking of max HP, let's drown ourselves in this pool again. And get back up there. Hey, little guy. Cute. All right. And we got 12 meat. Nice, nice. This guy still isn't moving. So let's wash up down here. And we're all cleaned up. Beautiful. So now... We've got the worm deactivated, or the shield deactivated, I should say. That was the shield facility that we're at. Now we can go, where can we go? Let's see. Oh no, actually, well, yeah, that was the shield facility. Was it the shield facility? Now I'm confused. It was the worm pod we're in right now. So where is shield facility again? Was it the other thing? Let's actually check that out real quick. Because I don't remember where this leads. We've just unlocked this like not a while, not too long ago, but oh, it is. So it is this place. Okay, that's just another another way to teleport. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, let me let me try something out real quick. I don't know if this is gonna work. Um, you might not hear the game audio right now. Oh, yeah, it works. Nice. Check out Mao if you want to. Streams are great. Making lunch, so I'll be lurking here and there, turtle. Enjoy your lunch, bro. Carve some meat. All right, all right. So we're going to go... Where's our... Uh... Well, actually, <laughs> oh no, I'm actually making some spaghetti, ooh, spaghetti, I haven't had spaghetti in a while, I should make some too, man, thanks for the idea, I think the worm, no, the, yeah, no, the shield facility was actually the way that we had to go anyway, because our ship's somewhere over there, so uh, that was pointless traveling right there. No, not there. Down here. Knees weak, palm sweaty, carve spaghetti. <laughs> oh, bro. I don't remember. Have you actually, have you ever done karaoke streams or anything, Carve? I don't remember. 
I think I saw you do like a Twitch things, but I'm... Yeah, you did. I haven't checked that out. I should. Is there a VOD up or did it get DMCA'd or whatnot? Let's see. Twitch things, but it's all gone now. Hmm. Nah. It's the way it goes. Do you ever think about like uploading stuff on YouTube or anything? Because I'm just doing that sort of to archive my stuff. I don't even know if it's a good idea or not. So let's see, this is where we have to go. Since Twitch things is dead now, all VODs and uploads are gone. Oh. How does Twitch things work? I don't even really know what it, what it is. I'm not too, too in on that. Oh yeah, right. You do have a YouTube. That's right. Yeah, yeah. For the memes, dude. For the memes. So I think this is where we have to go. I just need to actually edit stuff. Uh, don't tell me about it. I, I think editing is something I don't even really want to think about. Because I'm fine with like doing this live stream stuff and then immediately just uploading it from Twitch to YouTube. But when editing is involved, I'm like, oh, it's just too much of a bother, man. Plus, I suck at it. So this is where we have to go. There's one. Is there one more place that we could check out? I'm thinking. Yeah, there is actually one more place that we can check out. So let's not go here or let's actually go here and see if we can um, get a teleporter. I can do that too, but man, I want it to be magical. <laughs> uh, your stuff is magical, bro. There must be a teleporter over here somewhere. This this guy. We can talk to Blub Blub. Have you come to witness the reconstitution? What a time to be alive. That's right. So in this area, we kind of have to be a little careful because there's enemies that can pop out of the ground and attack us. I just want to see if I can remember where the, uh, the teleporter was at. Not quite teleporter, but, you know, the pink goo fountain. But I don't remember if it was, um, if it was even anywhere here. Oh god, this is disorienting. Hmm. Was it over here? No. Couldn't have been. No way. No, that's way too far. I think we need to go over here. And then just follow the path, basically. Yeah. Don't worry, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight our hearts out, but just not now. I'm just looking for the for the pool. Let's see. There's a pool, man, but there's no pool. Huh? Now I'm confused. Because I really don't remember the layout of this place too much. Or is it actually all the way up ahead? Because this might just... This might have just been, um... Like an entrance type of area. Oh, come on. Now I can't get up there. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is terrible. It's just out of reach. There we go. No, but there must be one of these pools somewhere. There's a shield over here. We can still not get to. I don't know why I'm not collecting all of these coins. We should have, by the way, let me check our money real quick. 489 bones. We could buy a couple of things with that. I don't see any fountain. Hmm. 